A utopian society is one where everyone is completely equal. There is no discrimination whatsoever. Everyone is completely happy and satiated and there is no such thing as misery or disappointment. A human's want for a utopia is obvious, right from its mentions in our literature to the rise of communism, which in theory wished to bring in a completely equal society. Now, in my opinion, a utopia is something that we can only tend towards, but never reach completely. It is something that we could be infinitely close to, yet be infinitely far away. I could be completely happy, but yet I could be happier. If you look at it, humanity has progressed in leaps and bounds in the last 50 to 100 years. You can look at it from the increasing lifespans to lowering mortality rates. The reason for our growth and our increased well-being is our ability to make win-win decisions. We collectively believed and collectively made a decision that human rights are something that need to be enforced. It wasn't something that was waiting in nature to be discovered. We created it and made billions of people believers. It's this ability, this ability to believe in an inanimate concept is what sets us apart from other animals. No other creature can have such an ability. Uh, let's say a tribe of monkeys. A tribe of monkeys has 100 to 150 monkeys because above this number, it becomes extremely difficult to cooperate. But human beings had civilizations with thousands if not millions of people. Why? Because of our ability to collectively believe in a certain thing. And this certain thing being religion, where we collectively either believe in a certain God or we believe in a way of life, which binds us together and creates cooperation. Now, by playing these win-win decisions, we have sorted so many issues, let's say malaria. Now, malaria was killing people in large numbers, maybe 50 years ago. But through combined effort and scientific development, we've been able to combat malaria and bring down its fatality. But in theory, by continuously playing these kind of situations, we should be able to make our world perfect, right? Just take every problem that we have, collectively work together, and we can sort it and we'll be a utopia. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Now, the first thing about a utopia, the main thing about a utopia is that everyone needs to be completely happy all the time. But if you think about it, is anyone really ever happy? I, could, I, I can say that I'm happy right now, but I could always be happier. There's no limit to human desire. Let's say you bring someone from a thousand years ago and bring him to our society today. He'll think that we've achieved it all. We have electricity, cars that you can use to go from point A to point B effortlessly. We have trains, we have skyscrapers, we have everything that man could have imagined. But yet, we're still unhappy. Because again, there is no limit to human desire. 30 years ago, we had floppy disks with 1.4 megabyte storages and we thought mm, maybe, you know maybe we have few more megabytes and we'll be satisfied we got few more megabytes mm, maybe few more megabytes and we might be satisfied and this kept going this kept going today we don't deal in pen drives less than eight gigabytes but we're still not happy we're still nowhere close to a utopia and because no one's completely happy this utopian society recedes back into a regular society now let's look at misery. A utopia also needs to be completely free of misery. But if you look at misery, what is really misery? Misery is the lack of happiness. When you don't have enough happiness, you say that you are miserable. But if you don't have misery at all, you can never say that you're happy. They're two sides of the same coin. Right now, I can say that I'm happy. Why? Because my miseries are, are less. 
but if i never have a concept of misery i will never be able to feel happiness i'll never be able to understand my happiness and in a utopia there is no concept of misery misery does not exist and if misery doesn't exist then happiness doesn't exist and for that reason when happiness doesn't exist because of the lack of misery a utopia again recedes back into a normal society now in conclusion a utopia is something that it's it's a it's a goal that we are always going to try and achieve it's it's a it's a continuous cycle that is never going to end because of human desire human desire never ends and humans will always want more no matter what you give us we will always want more today i have an opportunity to give this ted talk but i might not be happy tomorrow tomorrow i might want a bigger stage and an even bigger stage after that and never completely be satisfied unless one day humans are able to evolve so that desires are eliminated the day desires get eliminated we will be able to achieve a utopia but till then it's something that is completely unachievable and maybe hopefully one day we might come close to it thank you